Hello. Oh, say hi. Hi. <laughs> so hi guys, it's Priyanka and welcome back to my channel Organizer Media. So last week we saw a video on DIY gift ideas for Mother's Day. Some of you might have used those ideas. So let me know in the comments box about your ideas and how you have celebrated your Mother's Day with your mother. And now let's talk about today's video. So today we're gonna see how we can properly organize our medicine cabinet. So this is my medicine cabinet. So let's see how I have organized and what all tips and tricks I have followed to make this area quite functional for me and for my family. First of all, take out all your medicines, medical equipment, everything and put them on tape and then start categorizing them like take out some baskets or anything and then start putting all your medicines according to the members in your family like i'm separating my baby's medicine elder medicine uh, balms all of my kitchen cleaning medicines etc i'm keeping them in separate separate basket and then later on i'm going to organize them so now i'll show you how we can organize all our medicines so first of all i'm going to show you how i made this first aid box kit Basically, I got this first aid box from store 99 for rupees 200. I really found this box quite handy as it has got handle and a latch which can very properly close and open. So in this box, I kept very few but the emergency first aid only like cotton, crepe bandage, detol, antiseptic cream, scissors, etc. And if you are interested in knowing what all the things which I kept in the first aid box, I am going to mention all of the things in the description box. So please check it out. So next in this basket, I am going to keep all of my baby's medicine. I am just simply going to arrange all of his like syrups, his tongue cleaner, his nail clippers, everything in this particular small basket. And some of his medicines, I like to keep it in the refrigerator. And then I took this small cup in which I kept all of his like uh, nail clipper, his tongue cleaner, extra droppers, everything in the basket. So all of his medical basket is ready. Basically in this small basket, I like to keep all of my kitchen cleaning supplies. Like I have a small baby so I can't keep it under the sink. That is why I like to keep it in the medicine cabinet only. Then I took this over the shelf drawer. Uh, in this drawer, I'm going to arrange all of my balm, painkiller, ointment, roll-on, everything. So, I'm going to mention the link in the description box where I got this uh, particular over-the-shelf drawer. This is basically for the refrigerator but I found it quite useful in my medicine cabinet. So, here it goes. Next, I took this big basket which has lit. In this, I'm arranging my hot packs, belt and in this small plastic bowl, I like to keep all of my travel pill boxes and some bubble wrap so again in the same basket i'm arranging all of my uh, collars my baby's nebulizer some kneecaps everything so then i took this basket and in this i'm simply arranging all of my new wipes crepe bandage some extra cotton so according to the category i kept all the medicines carefully in the different different baskets so at last we need to label all these baskets. For that I took this masking tape from a hardware shop and you can even tear it with your hands only and then put it on the basket and write what all the things you have in that particular basket. So this is basically a TV unit at my place and I'm living in a rented apartment. So it's not possible for me to find a place, a specific place to make that particular place my medicine cabinet. That is why I decided to make this particular area as my medicine cabinet. It has got three shelves so I decided to put all of my medicines into it. So this is the first uh, shelf in this. As you can see at the right side I am keeping my first aid box. I labeled it and I am not keeping it in this way because that way it would not be possible for me to take out that box in the case of emergency that is why I kept it at the right side of my first shelf next to it I kept my son's medicine so this is the middle shelf here I'm keeping this basket which has lit so that I can stack so many other things on it so here next on top of it I've kept in medicines for elders I labeled it 
and this is the over the shelf drawer and this I kept balms so it's quite easy you can just pull it out and take your balm and then put it back so this is the basket which I kept for extra medicines like if somebody is going on a medication then I can keep that medicines in this particular basket so now let's talk about this lower shelf here again I'm keeping that basket in which I kept bells and everything and then I took this basket in one I kept wipes and in the other my kitchen cleaning supplies so this is how I have arranged and the benefit of this is I can simply stack it up and without disturbing other things I can pull that out so it's just a quick overview this is the first shelf this is the middle shelf and here I kept this over the shelf drawer in which I kept palms and this is my lower shelf so at last I want to show you a very interesting and important thing so this is basically the door of my medicine cabinet I took this a uh, file which you can get from stationery shop and then I put this double sided tape on one of the sides of the file and then simply put it on the uh, medicine cabinet door just stick it on the door so finally this is how it looks as this file has got two open sides and in this I just simply put all of my medical bills and the best thing is you're not putting them anywhere just keeping them very safe in your medicine cabinet so this is just one trick from my side which I think would be quite useful for so many of you and if so then please do comment down below and without even disturbing anything it can properly close and open so at last I'll show you how I organize my medical papers so for that I took a a plastic folder from a stationery shop so basically I have dedicated color folders for all of our uh, papers in the house like for medical I chose pink color folders so that I can keep all of our medical papers into these pink color folders only so that it would be easy for all of us to find the files quite easily so this is how I put this masking tape and then I wrote whose file actually this folder contains so I have like different different color folders for different papers at my home for electricity I have a blue folders so in one of my follow-up video I'll show you how I organize all of the papers in the house so this is how I have labeled all three folders and this is how I keep it safely in one of the Almera's drawers. This is all about today's video and I hope you really like it and please do comment down below and let me know what ideas and videos you wanted me to make so that I can work on those ideas first and do subscribe to my channel for more such future videos and hit the like button share this video with all your friends and family and I shall see you in my next one till then be organized and bye bye